Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis. Mark here, and we are working on the long armed centipede in uh, Senpu Temple, in the Temple Grounds. And uh, this guy's pretty interesting, this fight. Okay, so it's a pretty basic fight. There's a lot of deflecting. Um, we're not going to do a lot of dodging. Um, I'm going to show you how we remove all the minions around him so we can get one stealth blow in there, effectively reducing his health by 50% and make this f this fight pretty quick and easy. Should have five to six Gourd Seeds. Gokan Sugar, it can reduce posture damage to you, so if you have that and you're having trouble with this fight, go ahead and use that. Um, okay, so we're beginning, we're gonna jump off this cliff, we're gonna land down there, right on this roof, and we're gonna jump right towards that grapple point. And we're gonna skip all the guys. We're just gonna zoom past these guys so we can get right to the fight. So jump from this branch to that branch, once you make the leap, then you'll be able to pull yourself. And we're gonna ignore all these guys. They're gonna, we're gonna aggro them. We're still just gonna ignore. Go ahead and pull yourself up there. Then we're gonna jump to that grapple point there. So jump towards the temple, grapple yourself up. And then we're gonna r run along the roof up here, make our way on the left side of that roof because there's a rat on the other side. If you wanna kill him, go for it. Um, since we're just doing this boss run, yeah, he's right over there on the other side. Um, I just run past him because he's not worth the effort. And then we're going to make our way down onto this roof. So go ahead and fall down and go ahead and turn around. We're going to drop down that way. So when we go through the opening in this roof, as soon as you fall, we're going to squeeze that left trigger, mash it so you can grapple yourself. If you don't, if you miss it, then you're gonna have a much tougher fight on your hands. Okay, so now that we're here, there's two guys we have to take out, take out in the rafters. So we're gonna take that guy out on the left first. So go ahead and grapple over to that point there. And then remember, when you land, click in the left stick to crouch because crouching resets when you grapple. So go ahead and, you know, each time I've done this, he has never moved or turned around. So he's pretty easy to kill, but your mileage may vary. He may move. Now the other one, the guy on the other side, he does move. So we're gonna grapple to the middle over here. We're gonna go after him, but at first, we kind of have to wait for him to put, finish his patrol. We wanna have his back facing towards us. So don't grapple over until he starts heading back there. Okay, so then once we grapple there, we'll grapple again, get behind him, crouch, and take him out. Okay. Now, there are two guys on the other side of that fence, but we're going to stay here. There's the big boss. There are the two minions. You can take them both out stealthily. Um, it's, I think it's not worth the effort. I would rather just go in and kill them off one at a time. So let me show you how I, I did it. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So you can take one out stealth, but the other two will notice. So let's just grapple out of here. So make it, turn around real quick. Look up. Grab that grapple point and they can't get into this little room. So we're gonna take out these two guys um, and then we're, we're gonna lose aggro. Um, so go ahead and watch out. Don't do what I did and attack him head on. Try to go around him because they have that nasty fire attack, but it's only two to three hits to get these guys finished. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out of this room. We're gonna go up this hill. Now be careful going up this hill. Oh, he's, hmm, interesting. He's throwing through, <laughs> through the wall. Don't go far, too far up because there are some poisonous lizards up here and there are also some wolves too. So you don't need to head that far up. Yeah, there they are. And here come the wolves too. So yeah, we don't wanna worry about them. They should reset. Really the best place to um, hide. Wait a second, let's go up here. I wanna check something. So they're both here. Let's go ahead and take him out. There we go. Okay, so you can get the jump on him too, just like that. And again, we're just gonna get out of here. We're gonna, yeah, even if he hits us, that's fine. Um, get out and run up to this rock on the left. I'm sorry, on the right, right here. And kind of listen to the music, pay attention to the visual aids and wait for aggro to deplete. Check your health, whatever it is you might need. And we're gonna work our way back up. That must be a bug. He keeps doing that where he will attack through the wall.
but he's sort of reset. Okay, so now let's check, make sure he's in the right point. He totally is. He's there. So we're going to grapple to that middle pillar there. And we're just going to hang out and we're going to sit here and wait to do damage point. There we go. Death blow right on top. So we're going to jump down on him and we're going to take effectively 50% of his health off. Now, this is where it comes. He does a flurry where he does 10, def he has 10 strikes, but we can deflect all of them. So you're going to tap the block button in rhythm with his hits. It's press, 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 press. Don't go too quickly, but it's actually fairly is easy. He does one final swipe that is blockable and it's in a different rhythm than the first nine hits. So here you're going to see me don't do this. I left this in because I want you to see that um, he does a lot of damage when he hits. Now, when you get the when you get the danger symbol, when you see red, jump. That's all you need to do. You don't you don't need to do anything like a Makiri counter. Just jump over that swipe, and that's the only that's the only danger attack that he has. So look how quickly his posture meter goes up when we block those hits. It goes up really quickly, but look at my posture meter. It's also up. So we're going to keep deflecting. I took that damage there because my posture meter is so high. So you can heal up, keep backing up, dodging, try to get distance. And then here we go. Let's block, 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 get his posture meter up. And he does this attack so much. And when he backs up like that, he's coming in for his... Um, his big counter and we're going to jump over it and that's it. Don't forget to like and sub subscribe folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.